Hey, this is Lady C coming back at you with another video tip on how to create filters using a temporary email address. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to address two situations in this video. I'm going to take you directly from the part where you can choose a filter after you create this new temporary account. That's going to be the first one. But if you've gone through, created your temporary accounts already, and you need to get into the filtering after the fact, then the second part of this video is going to cover those steps. All right, let's get into it right now. Okay, so we're at the step that we want to be at when we're working with this creating a filter for a temporary email address. And if you need instructions on how to create the email address, make sure you refer to my video in the link above how to create a temporary email address in Yahoo. Well, right now we're going to work with creating a filter for this temporary email address. All you have to do is choose create filter. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and type in the filter name. And I'm typing in the exact email address. Okay. And I can either create a new folder or I can select from an existing folder. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just create a new folder. And I'm going to name it Savvy Tech 13. And you can put spaces in a folder name. So I'm going to go ahead and just type in Savvy Tech 13 without the dash. And I'm going to type real estate. Okay, so now the filter name is exactly the email address that we created. The folder name has the name of it in there so that you'll know how to go retrieve these emails when they come in. I'm going to go ahead and choose save. I'm now going to go to another email address that I have. I'm going to compose an email to that address. I'm just going to put test in the subject, test filter. Here it is, and choose send. Okay, now I'm going to go back into the other email to see if it got there. So I click in there, go back to the inbox, and then I'm going to scroll down to the Savvy Tech folder, and I see there's a one email in there, Savvy Tech 13 Real Estate. Here it is, Sean Clark Butler, test filter. It is here, it is working, and that is a wonderful thing. Okay, now, in this part of the video, I am going to take you from start to finish in creating a filter for this temporary email account. Okay, so now what we're going to do is go ahead and create a new folder. I'm just going to create the folder first. So on the left-hand sidebar, go under Folders, click on the New Folder option, and I'm just going to type Savvy Tech. Okay. And if you want to further describe what it is, you can actually just say real estate. So even though I had 13 on the other one, I'm not going to add all that to my folder. But Savvy Tech Real Estate should work just in case you decide to create a few more other temporary email addresses. And Savvy Tech is the nickname. You want to differentiate between those other temporary email accounts. Okay, so go ahead and hit that little arrow. It creates the folder. It adds the folder to the list on the left-hand sidebar. Now we're going to come over to Settings and go down to More Settings. Next, you're going to go over to Filters located on the left-hand side. And you're going to choose Add New Filters. And now you're going to just give the uh, filter a name. So once again, I'm just going to do Savvy. Tech, real estate. Because all this is, is the name of the filter. However, what's very important is the criteria. When you get ready to set your rule, we're going to go down to the to field. Because normally when we do a filter, it's coming from someone. But in this case, it's going to be coming to us and going into our temporary email address. So we're going to choose the to field. Drop down, and we're going to click on the drop down next to the select a filter criterion, and we want it to contain. So choose contains, and the type and the type of filter value it is should be the actual 
email address. Now, because I've been doing this tutorial for so long, it's showing up in my um, pop-ups here. So the one I want is Savvy Tech 13. Now, mind you, it's very important because you got to make sure that the dash is in there. So it's going to be Savvy Tech 13 dash real estate at yahoo.com. Okay, that's what it should be. If this is not correct and you're having issues with your filter, go back and make sure that you've named it correctly. Savvy Tech 13 dash real estate at yahoo.com. The next thing I'm going to do is choose the folder that I just created. So click on the drop down arrow, scroll in the list and choose Savvy Tech Real Estate. That's the name of the folder. Now choose save. Message filter has been saved successfully. All right. Now I'm going to go back up to this other email to test it. I'm going to compose an email. It's going to go to Savvy Tech. And also it has to be the correct one here as well. So even though it's showing up in the recently used, make sure it's the correct one. Savvy Tech 13 dash real estate at yahoo.com. It's going there. Now I'm going to choose test. Here it is. And I'm going to choose send. So now I'm going to go over and test it to see if it's there. Choose back to inbox. And then I'm going to scroll down to see if there's anything in that folder. And Savvy Tech Real Estate, it says one item is in that folder. Click on it to see what it is. And it is that email that I just sent from Sean Clark. Okay, it works, you guys. This is wonderful. This is a beautiful thing. All right, now this has been Lady C. Thank you so much for being in my audience. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next episode. Oh.